give you a couple things that are new in the shop. This funky kit. Called Under the Reef. We used K fabric for the bright colors and um, a new line of blacks and whites that are bundles. The other thing that we've started to do in the shop is when we get blender lines in, we often hear people say, oh, I wish I had one of each. Well, we're starting to do one of each. This is one of each of the blacks and whites. This is one of each of our linen, uh, linen texture fabrics. So these are, it'll tell you on here, 26 fat quarters. This is, oh, I'm sorry, this is canvas. It, it's called canvas, it is not canvas fabric. It's cotton that looks like canvas. This one looks like linen texture. These are really handy to have in your sewing room. If you do a lot of applique or piecing, you've always got the right color. We just got in 20, 20 or 25 bolts of kind of, they're called cloud, cloud whites. They run from kind of a beigey white to a gray white to almost a blue white, all with little different textures on them. They're up in the middle room, um, really nice new backgrounds. Couple new panels. Oh, <laughs> and I, um, Diane, that used to work work here and retired, just did a really cute quilt. I took a picture yesterday or Saturday. I've got to get it up yet. It'll be up on Facebook. These are the smaller ones that coordinate. Oh, this one's been around for a couple months but now it's fall, so everybody sees it as new. <laughs> this one just came in a real bright, fun birds. These blocks, the blue quilt that's hanging over the front here, trial and error, these blocks fit right in here. So eight fabrics in this would be a real sweet quilt. This guy, my board's too small, but this is just a cute cabin scene. Um, and there are about eight or nine blender bolts that go with this too that are real nice. This is a line of floral and it has a copper metallic on it, which is pretty rare, but it's really pretty. And then all the blenders also have a cotton metallic in them. These are the blacks and whites that go with the little animals I just held up. The, these guys were up by the front door. <laughs> There's a panel that's in here that is little animals. The kit comes in this color, or we also did it in kind of a teal blue. This we quilted on the embroidery machine with rhinoceroses mm. to join the herd mm. because He's hanging out with his elephant friends. Oh. And his tail and his ear are loose. You gotta have a back side. Okay. So when we quilted this, if you look close in the background, there's all these little rhinos, and they're all going the same way as the elephant. In that direction. This little tiny elephant. Oh, is a picture on the panel that shows you how to put them together. So we cut that out, put that there, and then all the rhinos are going in one direction. Except this little guy right here is lost. He's going that way. Remember the old Dr. Seuss, are you my mother? So that is that one. And then just a couple little things. Brand new. Get your sewing basket coffee mug. There we go. I did have a lady the other day say, oh, look, the perfect wine glass. <laughs> That's pretty good. Personally, super hot chocolate works. <laughs> These have been around, but they've been a really big oh. seller. <laughs> <laughs> These are just a cute little set of measuring spoons. Fun little gifts for quilter friends as Christmas approaches. Those of you who are embroiderers are used to our custom sewing basket, hold it upside right, um, USB sticks. 
They turn into a very stylish bracelet if you'd like. They also hook nicely around the handle of your sewing machine or around your keychain if you do a lot of work. It's just a regular USB stick, so you can mm -hmm. use it with your computer. Um, we've had them in purple. This is the new lovely shade of royal blue. <laughs> Those of you who bought any of the Quilters Select Alex Anderson rulers recently, this is the little handle that they created. It sticks on here. The Alex rulers have grip all over them. So sometimes it's hard to pick it up and scooch it just a little bit. This just does that. So it gives you a little handle. Those came in and those are upstairs. And I'm one minute over on that clock. I got 30 seconds on my watch. <laughs> the last thing I wanna mention is each year for the last, I believe this will be our fifth year, we do Santa's workshop. <clears throat> Santa's workshop is November 5th and 6th this year. Um, the 5th is a Tuesday at 10 a.m. The 6th is a Wednesday. We'll do it at 6 p.m. You come in, watch a lecture demo, kind of like we have here. But we're talking about all different products and things that are new and fun that you might like to receive for Christmas. Santa likes to give presents that are wrapped under the tree. Gift cards are fine, but it's nice to have a gift to open. So what we do is you fill out a wish list. We keep it here. You give us the addresses of whoever sends you Christmas gifts. We have a lot of ladies that have, and gentlemen, excuse me, that have family that's out of town, may not be coming home for Christmas. We send them a letter, anybody you want us to send a letter to that says Santa needed help, he has the sewing basket. And we put a coupon in there so they get a discount on any gifts they buy. And it's kind of like a, a wedding registry. As things sell, we keep track so you don't get duplicates. They get a discount off of anything you purchase and we have a blast meeting everybody's family. Um, so it works out well. If you don't come to the event, you can still fill out a wish list. You can grab one here, I've got some today, and it runs through um, about the 10th of December is when we'll mail the letters out. So you need to do it before then. And down here, this is you know your letter to Santa and it says, I've been naughty or I've been nice. Um, we're pretty sure that everybody has been just a little bit naughty probably. Um, and where it says with love and you're supposed to sign your name, Please don't write mom. <laughs> we got like 10 of them the first year that said mom. <laughs> Who's mom? And Or Jackie or Kathy or Chris or Sue. Please put your full name so we know whose wish list it is. Questions, comments? <laughs>